number 1 the equation of the curve is this one x is larger than 0 find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at this point so gradient of tangent it means that it's dy over dx so to find at this point the gradient of tangent we need to find what is our dy over dx so y is equal to 9x plus 1 over x okay so we know that when you want to do differentiation the power cannot be down so we bring it up which is equal to 9x plus x power of negative 1 so this one is actually power of 1 we bring it up power negative 1 so dy over dx is equal to so 9x will become 9 so when we differentiate this one we bring the power forward so you can directly write negative times positive x you get negative x negative 1 minus 1 so you get 9 minus x negative 2 so here we bring down the power back so 9 minus so here when we have x power of negative 2 is actually 1 x power negative 2 but then we don't really need to write 1 so when we bring this one down so we have 1 so x power of 2 so this one is our gradient of tangent so now it wanted to know at x so given 2x so here when x is equal to 1 over 4 dy over dx is equal to 9 minus 1 over 1 over 4 square so we substitute this one x with the given x so this one is 9 minus 1 over 16 which is equal to 9 so this one is minus 16 because when we divide with fraction so 1 minus 16 over 1 which is 16 7 so this one you can directly use calculator actually so this one is 7 so when x is equal to 1 dy over dx is equal to okay so now we substitute with 1 right so here 9 minus 1 over 1 square we get 9 minus 1 which is equal to 8 so a b for each of the x coordinates state the condition of the gradient so tangent to the curve so we know that this one is the gradient so when we do when you do your lines when you do your gradients we know that when we get negative the slope is going down right so this one is the slope is going down or we can say that slants to the left so we see here slants to left so when the value of positive so we know the graph is going up so when going up so this one is slant to the right so this one is slants to right B. Subsequently, find the coordinate of the point where the tangent line is horizontal. So, usually when we do uh, tangent, gradient, so what we do is that, so for example, if you have something like this, so we know going up means dy over dx is larger than 0. So, this one means dy over dx is smaller than 0 because you see it's going down. So, on top of this one, you see that dy over dx is equal to 0 so this one is also apply this one is also apply when you have something like this so this one is going down so this one is going up this one is dy over dx so this one is supposed to touch at one point this one is so going down means smaller than 0 going up mean larger than 0 larger than 0 and this one's mean dy over dx is equal to 0 that means like a point before it changed from positive to negative or negative to positive so this why that's why the tangent line is horizontal okay we just know that there is either one larger or smaller or this one is 0 so when dy over dx is equal to 0 So before this, we know that our di, dy over ds is equal to 9 minus 1 over x square. So when dy over dx is equal to 0, so this one is 0, so 9 minus 1 over x square. So now we multiply everything with x square to remove the denominator. So 0, 9, x square minus 1, so which is equal to 
9 x square is equal to 1 x square is equal to 1 over 9 x is equal to third 1 over 9 which is equal to positive negative 1 over 3 so when it is horizontal so x is equal to 1 over 3 or negative 1 over 3 So, coordinates means we need to, to know what is our x and y. And we have x. So, we need to know what is our y. So, we can directly substitute from the equation of the curve. So, 9 is equal to y is equal to 9x plus 1 over x. So, when x is equal to 1 over 3, y is equal to 9, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 1 over 3. So, here we get 3... 1 divided by 1 over 3 is equal to 1 times 3 over 1. So we get 3. So we get 6. So here when x is equal to negative 1 over 3, y is equal to so 9 times negative 1 over 3. So this one plus 1 over negative 1 over 3. So here we get 3, negative 3. So this one, 1 divided by negative 1 over 3, you get negative 3. So here you get negative 3. 6. So you have two coordinate here which is the first one is 1 over 3. The y is 6. And then you have negative 1 over 3. Your y is negative 6.